course, covered the ceremony today. Lloyd, still a lot of emotion surrounding this tragedy. That's right. Some of the survivors are now in their 70s. Some of those who died never made it to their 20th birthday, but their stories are forever woven together in the story of the Blackthorn. Sabrino Avila. Seaman Apprentice, William Flores. The names of the 23 who died on the Blackthorn ring out at a solemn ceremony near the Skyway, including the name William Flores, a 19-year-old barely out of boot camp when he first impressed the captain of the Blackthorn. He'd write home and say, I'm a lifesaver. I'm a lifesaver. He, he, he believed it. But no one would believe what was to happen to the Blackthorn, fresh from maintenance in Tampa, on its way out to the Gulf when it collided with a tanker. It gave rightful rudder so we wouldn't be cut in half. And the ship rolled over on top of me. I was forced under the buoy deck. The raising of the Blackthorn had begun. Channel 13 news footage from 40 years ago at the site of the violent Blackthorn collision. Uh, the damage from the 600-foot tanker is extensive. But many more might have died if young Billy Flores, who told the captain he was a lifesaver, hadn't followed through, staying with the wreck of the Blackthorn and saving lives. He had the opportunity to swim away, but after the cries of his shipmates, he went back to try to help them, and that was just the way he was. Flores was one of the 23 who died, remembered on the 40th anniversary of the tragedy, attended by the Secretary of Homeland Security, the Commandant of the Coast Guard, and the 18-year-old nephew of Billy Flores. It took a lot of courage for how young he was and how soon he was out of boot camp. A new statue of apprentice seaman William Flores to be part of the Circle of Heroes Underwater Veterans Memorial of Pinellas County, a lasting tribute. He's going to be a role model for the rest of my life. Billy Flores never made it to his 20th birthday. But he is remembered on a solemn day 40 years after the tragedy of the Cutter Blackthorn. And one more honor. A few years ago, the Coast Guard commissioned a new vessel, the Cutter William Flores, named for that hero of the Blackthorn.